Dear students, I welcome you all to this problem solution series in digital electronics. I am solving the problems from the book Digital Design by Morris Mann and Michael Siletti. So in this video, I am solving the problem number 4.17 from the chapter number 4. The problem is, so that the output carry of a full ladder circuit can be expressed in terms of add or invert form okay so we can we have to so that this is the output carry expression and we have to prove this we will take this right hand side of this problem and then we will find out try to find out the ci minus one from this okay then the next part of the question is ic type 74182 is a look ahead carry generator circuit that generates the carries with n or invert gets okay here we have given a reference of the section number 3.8 okay inside from the chapter the circuit assumes that the input terminals have the complements of the g p and c i and we have to assume that that we have the inputs in complement term that means we will have g complement p complement and c i complement okay at the input side then we have to derive the boolean function for the look ahead carries c2 c3 c4 in the ic okay so hint is use the equation substitution method okay to derive the carries in terms of c i dash so let us solve this problem so first of all let us prove this part so let us consider the right hand side of the problem so right hand side equal to so in the right hand side we have g i dash p i dash that is complement okay plus g i c i dash whole complement and we have to show that this is the expression for the next test carry this is a plus b whole bar so using de morgan's term we can write it as g i complement p i complement that is a bar dot b bar b is g i does c i does okay so using this de morgan's theorem and we have complement here so again we can use de morgan's theorem this is a b whole bar okay so we can write it as a bar plus b bar so a bar will be bar bar which will cancel out so we can write it as g i plus p i whole into g i plus c i now let us expand this expression okay so g i into g i will have g i plus g i c i plus p i g i plus p i c i okay so from these two expressions we can take g i common will have 1 plus c i plus p i g i plus e i c i so this is nothing but one from this term we'll have this value is one so we'll have g i so g i we'll have now let us take common g i from these two terms so we'll get g i whole into one plus p i okay plus p i c i so this is nothing but again one so we'll have g i so we can write it as g i plus p i c i so this is nothing but the expression okay so this expression is nothing but this one g i plus p i c i okay then we have to show that it is c i plus one. if we put the values of g and p g is a i b i plus p is a i plus b i okay whole into c i so we'll have a i b i plus a i c i plus b i c i so this is nothing but c i plus one so the first part of the problem is complete okay now let us go to our second part of the problem in the second part we have to find out the or we have to derive the expression for c2 c3 and c4 so this is the logic circuit of carry look ahead generator okay but in the question we are given that we have the complemented carry that means we have we are given with the complements of these inputs c0 bar cg0 bar p0 bar g1 bar p1 bar and so on so let me prove the first part and from that expression we can find out the letter expression letter functions okay so let us draw this circuit suppose i am drawing for the c1 for c1 we have one an input okay so one input is p0 and another input is c0 
okay this is n gate then this output is an input to a or gate so here we will have z0 z0 is the input of this or gate and here we will get the ci okay that is c1 this is the expression for c1 in the question we are given that we have the complemented inputs that is we have p0 bar c0 bar and z0 bar these are the three inputs so what we will have after this end gate we will have p0 bar c0 bar now this circuit can be expressed in terms of n or n not expression n or an inverter expression so we have to make this circuit a and or an inverter form okay so what we have to do we have to put an inverter here and then put an inverter again okay so here we will get c is only c1 okay c1 complement and after this not get we will get c1 so from here we can find that c1 complement c1 complement equal to this one into this one so this one plus this one so this plus this again complement so we'll have suppose z0 does plus p0 does c0 does this is the or gate okay and if we have an inverter here this is not expression so we'll have a complement here okay so what we have to do we can use de morgan's theorem that is a plus b whole complement it will be a complement plus b complement so we'll have z0 z complement complement the complement will cancel out okay z0 whole into that is into this one complement p0 complement c0 complement whole complement we can say that it is a bar b bar expression so we can write it as p0 plus c0 whole complement again we have one complement so these two complements will cancel out let me explain it once again so we have here a bar b bar a bar b bar is the de morgan expression for a plus b whole bar okay so we have z0 all into p0 plus c0 okay so we'll have one complement we have another complement so that two complements will cancel out so this will be the function okay now again let us write down this one multiply this two z0 p0 plus z0 c0 okay so this is the expression for c1 complement now we have to find out the c1 c1 so we'll have to take a complement okay so we'll have z0 p0 plus z0 c0 whole complement okay so if we see this expression from the first part so what we have ci plus one the next test complement that is here c1 this is the previous that is c0 and z0 p0 okay so we have got the next test query so here we can see that this is next test query so next test query is the this one expression so this is the expression for c1 okay similarly if we find out c2 what will have c2 will have this value c2 minus 1 so we'll have z1 p1 plus z1 c1 whole complement okay similarly if we find out c3 will have z2 p2 plus z2 c2 whole complement okay and c4 is equal to z3 p3 plus z3 c3 okay whole complement so these are the expression for c1 c2 c3 and c4 okay so this is the solution for the problem number 4.17 from the chapter number 4 thank you for watching if you have any question please put it in the comment section below also like share and subscribe to my channel thank you